Hey, Tales for the Flipside family. Here's that video that I promised you about uh, Overstreet Access. So you go to overstreetaccess.com, uh, you sign up, and then you get a, you know, it's, uh, there is a paid, but there is also free. Um, so check it out. I'm gonna show you how you use it, and it's free for all retailers. If you're a diamond retailer, you get this for free, and you can put your entire inventory on it. And for a small place like me that buys a lot of comics, uh, keeping my inventory managed somewhere is something that I've always wanted but never could afford. I know a lot of the bigger guys already have their management system, um, but I do not. Small market guy like me, I think a medium market guy would also, this could benefit. And they're also gonna put you together with sellers. So um, watch this video. I talked to the uh, Josh Jeppy, uh, and he gives you a little highlight about it. And uh, later on in the series, we're gonna get um, somebody uh, from the actual team that puts it together and talk about some of their uh, updates that are coming up. Because this is brand, brand, brand new. So uh, watch the video. Hey, Tales from the Flipside family. I'm here with Josh Jeppy. He's the chief creative officer uh, at Diamond Comics. And what I'm talking to him and he's gonna tell you about is Overstreet access for retailers. So, appreciate you having me on here. No problem. Uh, Overstreet Access, well, we built this system to put Overstreet online. Finally, the price guide after 52 years is finally in a digital format that people can enjoy. But when we did it, we wanted to do something a little bit more. We didn't want to just give somebody the tool that has just the values of, you know, from the price guide standpoint. And Overstreet's pricing is based over time. It's value over time that's how it's stored. People always say, oh, the price is a little lower than we're used to, like trending prices and stuff. And you'll notice that in stores and retailers. I'll notice that as well, but it's a good buying buying tool as well because you can say I can evaluate a collection using the Overstreet price guide. Um, we wanted to do with this, we added collection management into it. Not only that, retailer tools so that people can find retailers local to their area, add them as favorite stores, and then allow the retailer to actually upload some of their stock into it and be able to be contacted by people that use this program, which we're excited about because we want to offer more tools to make a retailer more successful in source sales, but not take any portion of those sales from them. So we don't want to be like, oh, you're going to be a transactional fee. We all use eBay. We've all used different kind of different programs or auction houses, whatever it might be. There's, I think there's what, what not now. People like selling that all as well. There's everything. Yes. So, I mean, you can go, the list goes on and on. What we wanted to do is make sure that we're letting you keep more of your money. Yeah. So it's, again, it's a tool to be used. And there's a lot of exciting things happening with it because one of the things, I guess, for like retailers, when we get collections in, having the ability to rapidly find out what's in a collection and evaluation and by bulk things. So going into a title and adding all of ASM, you know, like selecting the titles that are there and putting them in a rough grade and saying, oh, these yeah. are basically VG copies and then having them in a box in that collection saying the valuation is X. So you can buy a collection easier from somebody and say, oh, here, well now I can offer you this. This will be Overstreet prices, I'll offer you this. And you know you're probably based on Overstreet pricing and I'll do pretty well in that area and right. be fair to the customer too. Uh, we're working on a lot of new features coming up here to handle the trending pricing market as well, the variance, everything sure. that gives us headaches as <laughs> retailers and collectors. Yeah, you know, there's 8,000 different um, covers that are out there. There's a lot of different things and this will keep evolving. And one thing we can do with Overstreet Access that we couldn't do with the printed price guide is update frequently. So when you have things in there and you can say, oh, well, this title just got added. This is the new big thing. I'm like, well, I gotta wait till next year to see it show up in the price guide. And there's so much more in there than it's even in the regular price, price guide. guide. So yeah. you have the grades in the regular price guide from 20, 40, 60, 80, and so on. It breaks out the grades between. Uh, there's gonna be things above 92. Right now, currently, it's just a 92 right. price. And you see that. And the main feature of this that I love is the fact it's free for the retailers. Um, it's it's something that we're adding in there. It's a value add for our customers that are in there and say, we want to use this. We want to see you grow your sales. We want to see you guys be successful because this ecosystem depends on all of us. 
you know, we might give you the product, but really you guys are doing the heavy lifting of everything. And it's, it's something you don't get thanked for enough, but the more you can give a retailer and say, these are tools that'll help you, is what we're really trying to do. This is why I brought Josh on, because this is a serious game changer. Uh, just, a, just as a management tool alone, if I don't sell one book, I wouldn't care. I at least know everything that I had. I could go on there, I could type in uh, and look at my entire inventory. I buy so many collections. It takes so long to build a yeah, database without this kind of tool, bad. and we're gonna get it free. Yeah. And there's gonna be all these other things added onto it. So I'm gonna do a whole uh, screen capture when I get on uh, and get my free access available. I'm gonna do a whole screen capture, and I'll show you guys how to use it and all the benefits to it. So uh, stay tuned for that. Josh, thank you very much for being with us. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so let's see how easy it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. A lot of, you know, overview information about it. Uh, we're going to go right on here and try to add some books. Welcome back, Haven for Heroes. This is the Overstreet Access. Um, they have Home, which is the page that I believe I'm on. I'm going to click it anyway so that we can uh, move right to it. Um, and then you can, uh, this is the Home page for Access, help you with your issues. Get it, access this dashboard. It has all the things you need. You know, you can go by publisher, you can go by your dashboard, you can click by titles, um, story arcs. As a collector, when somebody says a story arc, nobody ever really remembers all the books that are involved in that. You can actually go in here and click on a story arc and then find out all the books that are involved, all the tie-ins that are connected to the story arc. So as you're, as you're collecting, it's pretty great. Characters also, you can you know do deep dives on characters on this. So even if you're not using it to manage it, there's a lot of fun stuff in it that you can use. But let's get onto the dashboard and see how easy it is to you know add books. So on here, I'm gonna go to titles. And on the search, I'll go to, I got a stack of books here. And we're gonna see if it's easy enough to add books in. So here it is, all new, all different Avengers. That's what I was looking for. And I want to add books. So which collection should, so this, it actually wants me to you know, click what collection. Now I, you can create multiple collections, multiple boxes. Um, you can change the names of the boxes. So you can set up your collection in a lot of different ways. Um, and I'm just gonna call it box one. And it's got these great uh, check boxes. So I go, oh, I got three. Uh, all new, all different Avengers, number one. I click on it. I can change the, the quantity is just an up and down and I can sec, select the grade. Now this is on a numbered grade and I know on the page it, it has a drop down for grading. Um, I usually put 9.0 for new books. Um, you really have to inspect the book really hard to see if it's a 9.8 candidate. Um, these are books that have been sitting in long boxes and short boxes and people have ruffled through them and I don't believe any of them are, uh, are mint. Um, but so then I can just go back through, through, I don't have a number two or a number three. I just skip that check, check mark. I only have one. I leave that in there. I have number five, number five goes in there. Number six. And then somebody had stuck in a different book. So I just passed that book. I go to the next one. I got a number nine. And I have two of those. Oh, I have three, four, five, six number nines. So I just go right over here to quantity. Man, this is easy. Listen, I've been putting a lot of books online recently because uh, of slowdown. I need to, a bigger market. Everybody knows I'm in a small market. I need to move some books, so I have been putting stuff online. Uh, I've been using TCG Player. Um, their system is not this easy. 
It's not this easy. This is, this is really easy. Uh, let's see, we got three number 10s. So put number 10 check mark. And I put three. I have four number 11s. So if anybody's looking for all new, all different, <laughs> I've got them. So we're showing you the feed from the, the web page. Uh, so you're you're seeing exactly how easy this is to enter your books. Um, I've decided now since I started looking at it that I don't have to select a grade um, and which will make it f even faster uh, because right now I really don't need a grade on it. So it seems like I really bought a lot of these back in the day. I think these are probably 2017. Maybe I have to select the grade for, cause it's not allowing me to add the issues. So let me quickly add the grades on these. Yep, you have to have the grades in there. Now I've added the issues. I can go back, go to my dashboard, shows you how many issues I have and the total value. Now value is subjective, um, but yeah, it's uh, really quick and easy for that. There's uh, retailer settings, there's account settings. You can check your collection. You can collect, look at all your, look at the collection. It shows me just that one series is that's what I have in there. I can go back just by the back button, show all issues. So it's, um, Oh, it's 2015. All new, all different Avengers 2015. And I can gap list and it'll show me all the issues that I'm missing. So if I want to fill that out, I can fill that out uh, by putting in a want list for that. You can go by publisher and man, here's the like, here's the thing is, is that most systems don't have like, look at this 12 gauge comics. Um, they've made some really cool books. I know that, but man, there's no, like most systems don't have them all in there. First, I've got a lot of first comics. I got there. So there's a lot of independence in here and I'm really happy to see that. So this is, you know, really just like the overstreet guide where you can find all the different publishers are in there. Uh, let's take a look at story arcs. Oh, wow. Take back the shield skull. I don't even know how to say that. Uh, Till Death Do His Part, 100 Bullets, 1602, 1984. It's got a lot. There's two, well over, there's 5,481 results, right? So there is a lot of story arcs in here. The great thing is, is this, there's this little feedback button here. You can click that feed button. You can report a bug. You can feature request and you can do general feedback. And in the general feedback, you can put in there, Hey, this story arc's not on your list and you can put it in all the books that are required. They'll check on it and they'll add it. If, if it needs to be added, um, they seem to be very responsive. Uh, I've sent a couple of email bu bugs and, um, when we were at, looking at it we and it was they were responded to immediately uh, so this seems like this is going to be really great for your small and medium size if you're a large if you're in a large market and you're a large business and you already have everything in your shopify store toys everything 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 yeah you're probably not going to need it i mean you've already paid for a system you don't need this but for us guys, medium and smaller, who couldn't afford a ten or fifteen thousand dollar program to manage all of their inventory, yes, this is not all of our inventory. Yet, who knows? They may add toys, games. Might happen. Um, they didn't mention that, but it's wishful thinking on my part because I have a lot of inventory that I can't manage. Uh, but this is going to be great for my comics for me. Uh, I'm really hyped about it. I'm excited about it. The biggest thing is it's free. So yeah, it's a lot of work to put everything in, but you saw it like in less than five minutes, I put in 
what, 32 comics. And I can tell you, I it's way slower than that in some of the other systems that I've used. So if you have any questions, please send them to me because I'm going to be reaching out to these guys to interview them directly again uh, about it in about a month when they've done some uh, more updates. Uh, by the way, this is completely unpaid. I saw this at the, at the retailers uh, summit. Uh, I looked at it even more during the Baltimore comic con. They had a, uh, a booth because they were giving out um, cards with uh, to allow people to download the app for free. Um, I don't know if they were giving them a month or or what at the at the Baltimore Comic Con. I didn't really check it out because I'm a retailer and I already have it for free. Um, but yeah, a management system for comic books that costs you nothing and that buyers might find you and contact you to buy your books is uh, pretty excellent. Uh, and I, um, you know, I, I really feel like the partnership between Diamond and the retailers is coming back. Um, I think that they, um, you know, we need to all get together if we're going to keep going on with this uh, business. So yeah, like I said, please comment. Please share. Please give these guys a subscribe. They deserve it for giving us the platform to talk about opening a comic shop. And uh, come over and see me over at Haven for Heroes YouTube channel and uh, catch all my hot takes on what I think of uh, the industry personally. So, you know what? Keep reading comics and open a freaking comic shop. And